What does the test cost? I'm, I'm sure people are curious about that. We've talked about gee, getting it covered by insurance companies, but actually, what does the test cost? So the genetic testing, the, the gold standard is kind of the proofreading test. Um, and that's, that one's about $3,500. Uh, but again, if you meet with a genetic specialist and it's recommended that you are appropriate for genetic testing, it should be covered by your insurance company. It's very rare that an insurance company or a specific policy doesn't cover it. And then how about the referrals to people like you? I mean, is that generally a problem if Elizabeth is referring, say, says, hey, Sally Smith, I think you need to go see a genetic counselor. How about that? Is that, uh, how is that paid for, covered, generally a problem, not a problem? Why don't you elaborate if you would? So the genetic counseling component is typically covered, and I can tell you, so of all the patients that I see, I only recommend testing about 70% of the time, and so the insurance companies will cover for you to come in if you have a personal or family history of breast cancer to go through that history and figure out what's appropriate, what's needed, and then con continue on with genetic testing if it's indicated. So yeah, you know, and, in other words, in other words, it's really important to have sort of your good housekeeping seal of approval that the tests are actually indicated, correct? Yes. Well, can I just add one thing about that? Sure. You know, I really prefer when I can partner with a genetic specialist like Kim for my patients. But I practice in Oregon, um, which is where I'm based when I'm not on traveling. And um, we have a large rural population. We have a lot sure. of parts of our state. And we only have certified genetic specialists in a couple of the major population centers of our state. Right. And I know Oregon's not the only state like that. No, you're, you're so, right. You're right. Um, obviously, best practice, if we can, is to partner with someone like Kim. But when we can't, most primary care doctors um, will know, have partnerships where they consult themselves with genetic specialists, and they may get on the phone on your behalf and talk with a genetic specialist so that you don't have to travel uh, 200 miles to yep. see someone, which can be a significant burden. So I love it when I can, but when I can't, I count on my partnership to help me talk with counselors and help my patients either have a phone conversation with them or I can be the middle person to make sure that we're all getting the right information. You know, oh, thank you for bringing that up, Elizabeth. You're absolutely right. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.